Shalom, Kwam Yasala, Kuholim La Yahweh Basim Yahweshai, Bahasim Rakaha Kodash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Jah Hanan just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I uh, wanted to touch on this article. This is one of the things that's um, that will be happening in the end days or the last days of what Yahweh Shai spoke of in Matthew 24, uh, verse 12, where it talks about um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And so this lady right here, her name is Lisa Snyder. She's 41 years old, right? She is accused of hanging her eight year old son, Connor, and four year old daughter, Brindley in the basement of her Albany Township home. So this was um this happened in 2019. You know, Esau with their I don't know. They just it takes them forever to get justice in this place. <laughs> you know, it, it takes them forever, but that's how much crime it is in America. Shit carries on for years and years and years and years and you a decade in and motherfucker beat them forgot about what even happened. But anyway, it says a part of her def defense, let me see, no, no, let me start up. A mother accused of hanging her two children with dog leashes broke down in court as her surviving son spoke. That's crazy, man. And you, hey, I don't even know how she got that done because unless that was a, a, a light, a light eight-year-old, I'm not sure how, I guess eight-year-olds, they, they got away at least. I guess I don't know shit. Nah, I'm not even sure what the weight of a child would be around that age. But that's not a lightweight, you know what I'm saying? Unless, you know, they were pretty petite and she wasn't feeding them well or something. But um, it's a pretty heavy child. And even for a four-year-old, to, to get them, I don't know, you know, to get them high enough, I guess, to do that. But anyway, um, Linda Snyder, 41, is accused of hanging eight-year-old Connor and four-year-old daughter, Brindley, in the basement. Oh, this happened in Pennsylvania. It's been a lot of crazy shit happening in Pennsylvania. The children died three days later after being removed from life support. As a part of her defense, Snyder claimed Connor was being bullied at school, had been making suicidal threats. However, police said they found evidence that Snyder went online for information about suicide, death by hanging, and how to kill someone. See, hey, that, that goddamn social media will get you every single time. That shit is a time stamp, man. There's certain, um, certain um, bills that I'll pay. And they'll have that option of sending an email. And I, I prefer it be emailed to me. You know why? Because it stamps it down to the millisecond. I'm talking about they had them long ass numbers. You know what I'm saying? It'll have them extra numbers on the end. You know? Give you the, the, the exact date. The exact time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so, so you know, nobody can front with, with, with a person saying, nah, he didn't pay this. Nope, nope. Here's my receipt right here. Send me a damn electronic receipt. I will say that's something good about um so um you know some of this new tech, you know you some paper receipt you done left in your damn pocket or you lost. No, I can I can pull that up anywhere. Anyway, but they they got that that tracking system, man. This is Esau and his tracking system. That also goes up into what's gonna be happening with the um the mark of the beauty and the beast. That Revelation 13 and 16 and 17. No man shall be able to buy or sell, save he that have the mark. You know. They're going to want to barcode your ass, man, and be able to beep every time you walk into a place. Beep. Yeah, well, they know who, exactly who you are. Esau about to get down on that end. But anyway, let's get some more. And that's just a part of end days prophecy, too. OK, so they. So they found evidence of her um, going online. For information about suicide, death by hanging and how to kill someone. And that she'd also look for episodes of the documentary crime series called I Got, I Almost Got Away With It. This bitch crazy. You don't know these, out of, and, and, out of all the crime shows you watch, you don't know that this is exactly what they do first? Stupid, bro. Doofy as hell. Here go the kids. And look, this a big ass boy. That's what I was saying. I ain't even see, I ain't peeped the picture at first. That's a big ass boy, man. That boy not not that light, man. He ain't looking that light. He he, he appears to be every bit of 100, 15, 120 pounds or so. Probably even bigger. 
Authorities were immediately suspicious of her claim of suicide and said they found no evidence to support it. The boy showed no outward signs of trouble on school bus security video recorded that day. See, they're going back to find everything, man. Esau is a diligent searcher, man. Matter of fact, there's a scripture. Let me get this one scripture real quick. It talks about how um, he's, he's, he's wiser than Daniel. I think that's how it was worded. It's nothing that that Esau don't search out, man. Esau is is, is this motherfucker is the perfect um he's the ultimate hunter. The, the scriptures talks about how he's um he's a cunning hunter. He 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 can he can hunt down information. He can hunt down a damn deer. He can hunt down a lion. This motherfucker hunt down people. So information is no different for for this guy. Okay, th this is Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that, <laughs> that they can hide from me. Hey, this Esau, man. You ain't hard. It's hard as hell to get away with a crime here, in, um, especially in, um, in this particular day and time, man. It's hard. And I don't know what she, but you know, doofy as hell, man. It's been crazy. She all searching for shit. You know, and not knowing that they going to go back and check all this stuff. You crazy. Authorities were, um, okay, so, uh. Authorities were immediately suspicious of her claims of suicide and said they found no evidence to support it. The boy showed no outward signs of trouble on the school bus security video recorded that day. And an occupational therapist later said he wasn't physically capable of causing that kind of harm to himself or his little si sister. Physically able. Hey, he's a, you know, he, he, you know, he don't, come on, man. Esau don't have it like that. First, he's going to hang his sister. If he's being bullied, you know what I'm saying? Well, why, you know, what's that got to do with his sister? What, he don't want her to be bullied in the future? You know, just stupid as hell, man. A coroner said both children were killed by hanging and ruled the death's homicides. Lisa's son, Owen Snyder, 22, took the stand on Tuesday to speak about the killings. Prompting Snyder to weep in court, Owen said, I just don't see her as my mother anymore. Owen said when asked why he referred to Snyder as Lisa... <laughs> Dang, so he was like fuck calling you uh, my mama said this or my mama done that he said lisa done this lisa done that yeah Ali. owen also claimed that connor had physical limitations that would have made it difficult to set up the hangings snyder was initially also accused of having sex with her pit bull shortly god damn before the killings after investigators at the time said they found evidence in snyder's facebook account oh there you go this is some Edomite action right here. See? See? What does the scripture say, man? You're not supposed to be sleeping with no animal, man. Damn animal's supposed to be put to death, and your ass supposed to be put to death. And this is some Edomite shit. This is why Job, let me get um, Job real quick, chapter 30. Job said, I won't even set these motherfuckers with the flock of my dogs. Verse 30. See, the scriptures covers everything. Let me start at verse 1. Job 30 and 1, but now they that are younger than I had me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. See? Why do you think Job said something like that? Because Job understood. Hey, look, how many stories have come out this past year and last year, these past three or four years, with nothing but Edomites in the news, and women especially. The women, the so-called white woman, she's been sleeping with these goddamn dogs, man. I didn't even know that that part was even in the, in, in the damn article. That's crazy. Anyway, damn. Damn. And her, let me get that back again. It says Snyder was initially also accused of having sex with her pit bull shortly before the, the, the killings after investigators at the time said they found evidence in Snyder's Facebook account. So they done found evidence in her face. You done recorded this shit? Or what did you, did, did you, you type this shit to somebody? However, a judge ruled that those claims would not be admitted into murder trial after the defense team argued the claims would prejudice the jury. Oh, no, the jury should have knew about this bitch. It's, it's nuts, so They should have knew that. That's something that, so you're going to keep off the, the part that when she's sleeping with the goddamn dog? Come on, bro. They should have left that in there. Anyway, though, and I was going to say, this definitely got, this is a, the spirit of an Edomite, man. Because I was going to say, even though if she looks like a so-called white woman, 
she could actually be an Israelite because there are Israelites that look like this. So it's not a color thing. We have to always bring that out. You know, that's that's a back to the basics type of lesson that when you first come into this truth, you can't just look at somebody and say that's a so-called white man and call him an Edomite and be wanting to, uh, you know, get down on him, you know, so to speak. You have to test the spirit because the scriptures talks about if they spirit resonate, resonate with the scriptures, then they are an Israelite because Edomites, so-called white man, they're, they're not going to. You can ask them a couple of questions and test them because, you, you know, you test the spirit and, and you're going to clearly see it, it's certain shit that Edomites just can't admit to. And they fail every single time. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, if, if you're not catching them off a rehearsal, you know what I'm saying? If they haven't kicked back and rehearsed some shit, you know how Esau get down. He'll he'll definitely put together the lies and the intro. But you can still read his spirit, though, you know, and if you can't, you should be praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for that gift of um, um, spirit reading, man. When they come up to the camp and this, that and the third. But like I said, again, Israelites look just like this lady. There are Israelites look like her. They look like Chinese people. We look like um, Japanese people. And the reason being is because as a people and the seed line goes through the dad, the men of our nation, since we've been scattered throughout the four corners, of er four corners of the earth through slavery, all these these places and continents and different just everywhere we've been scattered to. We dealt with the women of those nations. We've had children with those those women. We've laid seed into those women and the seed comes through the mother and that seed is exactly what the dad is because you have to realize that sperm is pretty much kids in itself. Th those are children already and they are what the man is because they're in the man. They are exactly what he is. And a woman, she plays the part of being ground or earth or soil to nurture that seed. It's no different than planting fruits or vegetables, you know. The seed needs, you know, soil. And that's pretty much the part that the woman plays. She gives it the nutrients, just like the earth does with a seed. And then once that seed comes forth, it's exactly what the father is. Can't get around that. So we like to always bring that out um, because this is not a black only Israelite thing. Everybody out here is not going to look like, um, you know, Wesley Snipes or somebody, man. That we always say that, you know, or any other uh, uh, Mars chestnut or some damn body or, you know, all Israelites are not going to have that dark chocolate color because we've been scattered through the four corners of the earth. And it makes sense that, of course, we've lost that color. We've lost those features, bone structure and things of that nature. But still, as time has gone on, those people are still Israelites. And trust me when I tell you, the Lord, the Lord knows every single Israelite spirit on this planet. So when you go into the book of Revelations, he's going to do that gathering. He's going to know exactly who to gather. Don't think that he's not. Ain't going to be no mix ups. The Lord know he's the father of spirits. He's going to know exactly what spirit is an Israelite, what spirit is an Edomite, what spirit is an Elamite, what spirit is an Ishmaelite. He's going to know all those things. He's not going to, there's not going to be no mistakes about that. Trust me when I tell you that. So it's going to be people that's out here that actually look like so-called black people that are going to be tears. They're going to be pushed to the side and they're going to be, you know, because they're not Israelites. There, there, there are people out here that look as dark as a Wesley Snipes or a Mars Chestnut, you know, but they're actually so-called white people. Why? Because the so-called white man laid with the so-called white woman. I mean, with the so-called black woman, the child ended up taking more of the woman's color than it did his color. That, that happened throughout, throughout slavery. There's plenty of people running around right now that you would think were so-called black people, but they're actually so-called white people. That's crazy. And it's actually scary, man. That, that shit, you could do a damn scary movie out of that shit. Because what it is, is you have some, uh, some you have imposters uh, amongst you. That's very dangerous. You got these people, they, they just around you. And, and they, you know, blending in. Which, but you can tell, man. That spirit is something different about, it's just something different about them. Like, you know, not all of our people got the super duper swag, but it's still just something about these other nations where you can just sit. Some not right about that nigga. Some just don't sit right with me about because he's a goddamn Edomite or he could be a, um, a Moabite or Ammonite. See, the Lord goes by biblical nationalities. And that's another lesson. You know, I just wanted to explain that. But this is some Edomite shit. <laughs> that's how, you know, what I'm saying, you, you know, reading the spirit. What she done, right, and it, I mean, and hanging your own children, 
This is shit that Edomites are doing right now. There's a lot of this going on right now. You know why? Because these Edomites are falling off. They're falling off, man. They're, they're, uh, matter of fact, let me get... Let's go into the Apocrypha real quick. We're just flowing in the spirit. I like to always flow with the spirit. And I'm already there, too. That is the spirit. Because I haven't used this phone to do a lesson. And, and last time I used this phone to do a lesson, I was on this scripture. <laughs> Second Ezra um, chapter 6 Let's start at verse 7 Then answered I and said What shall be the parting asunder of the times Or when shall the end of the first And the beginning of it that followeth And he said unto me From Abraham unto Isaac When Jacob and Esau were born of him Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau Block you. For Esau is the end of the world And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth So if you're wondering because you got people, you'll see people all the time on TikTok, you know, and all these different social media sites these days. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? What's happening in the world? What's going on with people? Why are people so this? Why are people so that? Why is it so much crime? Why is it so much this? Why is it so much that? Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, that's his biblical name. He's a damn Edomite. And his world is ending and caving. Because you can't get nothing out of nothing. Uh, they were created to be the wicked. That's the reason why their kingdom is so damn wicked. They write wicked ass laws, wicked ass decrees. They push them on the people. The people follow them. They give you all kinds of um, idolatry to worship. They give you Christmas, murderous ass holidays like Thanksgiving, you know, you know, all these idolatrous holidays. And then the people, that's what they do on a year to year basis. And as time goes on, you're not going to get anything out of that except for chaos. That's it. That's all you're going to get out of that. Complete chaos, man. It just is what it is. You can't get around it. So, let's go to that Matthew 24 and 12 I spoke of. Yeah, man. Hey, look. I don't know what she was thinking about. Maybe she had a nice little insurance arms policy on them kids, man, but still just dumb as hell. And then if she didn't want the kids, it's like, you know, like, where, where's the dad? Because, you see, they're even going through that right now. They're going through um, baby mama drama and baby daddy drama and, you know, same shit that they used to put us through. See, that used to be a thing for us in our um, nation as far as so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. But now we're starting to see that that is um, is actually falling over on them now. That's great. So, me 30 and 7 and the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee so now what's happening is they're starting to go through the exact same things that they put us through why because they're reaping what they've sown you know they have this such thing they call karma you know or they call it what goes up what must come down or what goes around comes around and actually that's right here in the scriptures just worded worded differently Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So see, why isn't this a big story in the news like how they got Diddy all over the damn place? Because it's, they don't want people to know all these heinous crimes that they're committing. But the men of the Lord, see, since we scour these news channels, we see, we know. So we report on it. We do better news reporting than um, these news stations. Honestly. You know? Now, let's go to um, let's get one in the Old Testament right there to prove that the Lord, he deals with nations in that manner. Job 30, uh, what is it? Uh, 34 and 29. It says, when he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? See, so the Lord, he deals with nations of people, but he deals with those individual men, women and children within those nations. So Esau is going through what he has sown. He has sown nothing but discord among brethren. He's sown nothing but crime and, 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 and death, murder, disease. And so now it's coming back to haunt him. You know, he's 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 sown nothing in the earth but drug, drug um, um, use on our people, you know, drug paraphernalia and all these, you know, um, giving our people all these uh, you, these crazy ass jail sentences for, 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 for shit that they would get a slap on the wrist for. But now it's, it's backfiring.
favorite man or some somebody I grew up with. Ah, you know, just so long, long ago, I don't even remember the guy. I felt so bad, but he remembered my name and everything. You know what I'm saying? But we was a little bit. I'm just talking about going way back. But you know, we was always neighbors. We pretty much about the only people that sell on the block originally. A couple, couple other neighbors, but so lucky for that. Um, I kind of. I, I was going off into this Job 34 and 29 where it talks about um, how the Lord, he deals with nations of people and he also deals with the individual people in those nations. And so he, he dealt a real blow to us, so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, which are Israelites. He dealt a real blow to us because we are his chosen and we were disobedient to him. So he put us through the he put us through the ringer, man, by putting this um, this 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 people over us. He, he, he created these people to be the wicked and he created them to be the hammer of the earth, his, his sword. Matter of fact, there's a scripture that talks about this, um, the, the wicked. This man is the sword of the Lord. That's the reason why he, he runs through the earth and, and terrorizes everybody the way that he does. Let's see if I can find. Uh, yeah, uh, Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword from men, which are thy hand. See, so the Lord created a wicked people, man, to get down. And, and the Christian church don't teach these types of things. This is why we go into basic script. Well, they're not basic scriptures. We say back to the basics because when you first come into this truth, these are things that you have to know and understand that the Lord created the wicked. and He created them for his pleasure or to do what he wanted, wants them to do. Um, we can get that in, um, I think that's Proverbs 16 and 4. But it says, from men which are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world which have their portion in this life. See, this is their portion right now. This is their life. That's why, you know, in that second Ezra 6 and 9, it says, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That's what I was talking about because his world is about to end. Right? It says, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. They are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. And that's Esau. They're they're one of the only races of people that's rich. Well, they used to be, you know, they used to just go about the earth, you know, make a goddamn fortune, sit on trillions, billions or whatever the hell. And they'll just pass them on to their children and their children to do the same thing. And then their children to do the same thing, and their children to do the same thing. But now what you're seeing is uh, 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 goddamn monsters like this chick right here. They, they, they've turned they've always been wicked, but they used to be a lot more, you know, um. I would have to say civilized as far as like when they first came over here and stole the country with that uh that bullshit white Jesus Christianity crap. You know what I'm saying? So now they they've just become the complete savages that they they've always been to begin with. It's starting to show because it's time for it to show. It's time for this um, for for it to end. It's time for their 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 playtime to be over with. The Lord is about to destroy them and bring the Israelites back up. So that's the reason why you're starting to see more and more stories of these hein of, of their heinous crimes. But see, like something like this right here, you think that it would be put straight forth on the news. See, but they'll they'll put see they still we're still under those curses where they'll blast our people. They'll put our people out there as if we're just this these, these fucked up people. We're the worst thing that ever happened to the planet. But in the meanwhile, in the backdrop, they're the ones giving you GMO foods. They're the ones that's, um, you know, taking the damn seeds out of all the fruit. They're the ones that's bombing all, all over the goddamn place. They're the ones that's flying through the skies, fucking up the air quality. They're the ones that's fucking with your water quality. They're the ones that, you know, on, on the deep back end, they are the wicked, man. They be doing this. <laughs> I was watching the um, elder down in um, Mississippi yesterday. Um, no, was it Mississippi? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, it might have been somebody else, but he was going into, oh, no, it was the elder in um, New York. And he was talking about, hey, look, hey, don't be looking at um, this man and saying that he's the wicked because he called you a nigger here and there or, or you know, a little shit like that. No, you we look at him as the wicked for the things that he's really doing in the backdrop, the demonic shit that he's doing to the entire planet, man. Because he's in control and he's the one that's able to do it. So now also. We got to bring out the fact that, OK, the Lord is the one that moves in the minds of people. So let's get Job 33 real quick, because the Lord is the one that made her do that. That's a spirit of vengeance. Let me see. Uh, Job 33 and 15. 
and people don't know this or understand this. It says, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So the Lord, he deals with um, people within their dreams at night. So when you get up, you perform and do exactly what it is that he wants you to do. So there is no such thing as free will. That's the reason why they said that she went online and she she searched for this and she searched for that. But that the reason why she done that, let's get um, Proverbs 20 and 24. So you have to realize who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the most powerful being. Of, I mean, it's, I, I can't even give no. No description of the Lord like that, but he's he, he he's he's out of he's out of our out of our thinking, man. You <laughs> you're not gonna get on no level with the Lord, man. And it's it's, it's it, he's absolutely amazing. I can't even make up no word, you know, or thinking no no. There's no real proper word for the Lord, right? Proverbs twenty and twenty four. It says, "Man's goings of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way?" So when you get up and you do it exactly, you're doing exactly what he wants you to do. You can make some plans. You might be thinking that you're making some plans, but if it's not the will of the Lord, you're not doing it. That's why the scripture says, you know, it's best that you say if it's the Lord's will. Matter of fact, if you go, let's go over to um, chapter 27 here. Proverbs 27 and 1, it says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what the day may bring forth. You don't know, but the Lord knows, because he done already programmed you. Right? So, let's go to Deuteronomy. Chapter 32, verse 39, it says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So it was the Lord that actually um, had that done. You know, not him coming personally off of his throne because he, he created spirits for those particular things. So we can get that as well. He created spirits for vengeance. Ecclesiasticus. 39 and 28, also known as the book of Sirach and the Apocrypha. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. So the Lord created spirits for vengeance. He's not just getting off his throne to, to, to do anything. <laughs> he created everything that he needs created to do all the stuff that he wants done. You know, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So he created these spirits to appease his wrath. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So the Lord created spirits for vengeance. You see? And we don't know to the extent of what her what this punishment may have been about because, you know, the Lord's ways are higher than our ways. Scripture talks about how his thoughts are, um, you know, higher than our thoughts. We, you can, you're not going to think like the Lord. Matter of fact, let's get this. Psalms one. Um, I think it's one forty five. Let's see. Uh, nope, it might have not been. Nope, that wasn't it. Is it one forty seven? Yeah, 147 and 5. Psalms 147 and 5. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. See, his understanding, there is no there's no beginning or end to his his understanding. With us, you know, we, we, we can only understand a few things. You know, with these 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 minds that he gave us, you know what I'm saying? So you, you're not gonna understand how to create a sun, a moon, no snow. No trees, no bees, no mosquitoes, no hippopotamus. Hey, look at the animal channel sometimes, man, and, and, and check out some of the things that the Lord has created. Certain fish, certain insects, certain birds, you know, certain is all that certain flowers, you know, you, 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 you can never fool. You, you would never get that understanding. You would <laughs> you, you're not on the Lord's level, man. And, and, and the Lord actually created I was going to get that one. I quoted it. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. 
you, you're not going to create nothing like that. You, you know, the Lord created these spirits of vengeance to go forth and do what he wants them to do. You don't have that ability. You're on no level with the Lord. And it's crazy how, uh, you know, the Lord, he, he actually creates the, 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 the scorner. He, he creates the mocker, the people that be talking shit. It's crazy, bro. His understanding is infinite. You're just not going to get it. <laughs> but anyway, man, I wanted to just touch on this. And did I ever get the math? I never did get the Matthew. Matthew 24 and 12. This is one of the things that the, the disciples, they asked the Lord. Matter of fact, up here in verse 3, they asked him what will be happening in the end days. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So they're asking the Lord, OK, so what's going to be happening in the end of the world? Right. And one of the things that he mentioned right here in verse 12 is and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But that's some very cold ass shit that she done to her kids, man. Very, very, very cold, man. Crazy. And also. Let's get that second Timothy. Three and one. It says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce. See, she was without natural affection, man. She's fierce when she done that. Despisers of those that are good, traitors. Because she was a, she 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 was a traitor to her to her children, basically, man. She's supposed to be, you know, the ones that's supposed to be um, loving and nurturing them and shit like that. Here you go, this bitch, you searching online how to kill them. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, and such turn away. So these are the days that we're living in, man. You're living in perilous times right now, and it's only going to get worse. It's going to get worse, man. But she's going to be in jail when, it, when, it, when, the, when the missiles come. And they didn't say how much, um, I don't even know about how much time they gave her. Let me see. I don't think they had that in there. This bitch watched the show. I almost got away with it. Yeah, you almost got away with it. I don't think you almost got away with it, though. So they didn't want to put out there the fact that she had slept with the pit bull because it might turn the jurors thinking towards her a certain way which is crazy as fuck bro now nah, bring that out them people need to know the mindset of this chick she's a goddamn monster man she's a damn monster they didn't say how much time she got in this article but anyway you get the point man um i can grab two more isaiah 45 and 7 so you have to realize the lord created all of these things and, and all the scenarios. It boggles your mind, man, to think like, dang, Lord, you created that actual scene? You created that? Like, you know, it just hey, boggles your mind, man. But you, hey, we got to accept the, the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures, man. The bitter and the sweet. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See? The Lord created good and evil, man. The Lord created spirits of vengeance to get down out here. And that's exactly what he done when he sent those spirits of vengeance upon this lady to do what she done to her children. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So the Lord got down. And it's still just crazy as hell the way that this bitch really thought that she was going to get away with this stuff, man. The Lord, hey, the Lord set her up, though. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, he killed three birds with one stone. Them two Edomite kids and got rid of her ass, too. Hell, the damn dad probably somewhere in jail. Or that motherfucker probably already in a grave somewhere. But anyway, I'm going to end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Quam your soul in a bubble ball.